हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर मुनसिफा फिरदोस खान बरभुया एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर टू दैट इज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस दिज आर द कंटेंट्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट इज वाई टू लर्न ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैन नीड ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम फंक्शन ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम types of operating systems some common operating systems difference between 32 bit and 64 bit operating systems and finally os directory structure now why to learn operating system in the computer system that comprise of both hardware and software the hardware can only understand machine code machine code means in the form of zero and one so we need a system which can act as an intermediary and manage all the processes and resources present in the system so thus an operating system is a program which acts as an interface between a user and the hardware that means all computer resources and controls all of components of the computer system its main goal is to make the computer system convenient to use an operating system is a software which performs all the basic task like file management memory management process management handling input and output and controlling peripheral devices that means disk drives and pen drives some of the popular operating system that includes linux operating system windows operating system ios operating system etc next topic is need of an operating system so os is a platform for application programs that means operating system provides a platform on top of which other programs that is application programs can run this application programs helps the user to perform a specific task easily next is booting now booting is basically the process of starting the computer that means when the cpu is first switched on it has nothing inside the memory so to start the computer we load the operating system into the main memory next is consistent user interface now operating system provides the user an easy to work user interface so that the user does not have to learn a different user interface every time and can focus on the content and can be productive as quickly as possible next is managing the input or output devices now the operating system helps to operate the different input or output devices that means the operating system decides which program or process can use which device next is multitasking operating system manages memory and allow multiple programs to run in their own space and even communicate with each other through shared memory Multitasking gives user a good experience as they can perform several tasks on a computer at a time. Next is platform for other application software. That is users require different application programs to perform specific tasks on the system. Now the operating system manages and controls these application so that they can work efficiently. next is manages the memory that means operating systems helps in managing the main memory of the computer next is manages the system files operating systems helps to manage files on the system and final is the provides the security that means operating system keeps the system and application safe through authorization now let us understand the functions of an operating system the main important functions of an operating system are listed below first is process management now the operating system decides which job should use the processor and for how long it allocates the processor to a process and deallocates processor when a process is no longer required next is memory management 
An operating system keeps track of primary memory. That means what part of it are in use and by whom and what part are not in use. That means it decides which process will get memory when and for how much. It allocates the memory when a process requests to it and do so and deallocates the memory when a process no longer needs it. Next is the device management. An operating system manages device communication via their respective drivers. That means it keeps track of all devices and decides which process gets the device when and for how much time. It allocates and deallocates the device in the efficient way. Next is the information management. A computer system works with information. That means it stores information, processes information, and provides information, etc. Thus, managing this information is also an important task which is performed by an operating system. And the final is the file management. The operating system manages the files, folders, and directory systems on a computer. Next topic is types of operating system. First is batch operating system. Now this type of operating system does not interact with the computer directly. That means there is an operator which takes similar jobs having the same requirement and groups them into batches. It is the responsibility of the operator to sort jobs with similar needs. For example of uh, such system are payroll system, bank statements, etc. Next is distributed operating system. Now this type of operating system is designed to share its workload over multiple servers. That means it shares data and resources among its multiple servers to get maximum efficiencies. Examples are Unix, Linux, etc. Next is real-time OS. In real-time operating system, the jobs have fixed deadlines and the job have to be completed within their deadlines. The system performance is measured by its ability to complete its job within the specified deadlines. Examples are Linux OS, then Windows CE, etc. Next is interactive OS. Interactive operating systems are computer systems characterized by significant amounts of interaction between humans and the computer. Most users have grown up using Macintosh or Windows computer operating system, which are prime example of graphical interactive systems. Next is the time sharing OS. A time sharing operating system allows many users to share the computer resources simultaneously. In other words, time sharing refers to the allocation of computer resources in time slots to several programs simultaneously. Next is Network OS. This system runs on a server and provides the capability to manage data, users, groups, security applications, and other networking functions. For example, Unix, Linux, Mac OS X, etc. Now some examples of operating systems are Windows, Unix, Linux, Mac OS, then iOS. iOS specially stands for iPhone operating system. Next is Android and finally is BOSS that is Bharat operating system solutions. So these are some of the examples of operating system. The next topic is difference between 32-bit and 64-bit operating systems. So here we have listed out some of the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit OSs. First is it can store and handle lesser data than the 64-bit. Whereas in 64-bit it can handle more data than the 32-bit OS. Now a 32-bit processor system could properly run a 32-bit OS but it cannot run 64-bit OS as it is full capability. 
Now, in 64-bit processor system can run either a 32-bit or 64-bit version of an installed operating system. Now, 32-bit uh, uh, has an addressable space of 4 GB, whereas 64-bit has an addressable space of 16 GB. Now, the 32-bit application and operating system requires 32-bit CPUs, whereas the 64-bit operating system needs a 64-bit CPU. And the 64-bit application requires a 64-bit CPU and OS. So these are the some of the differences between 32-bit and 64-bit uh, OS that we have listed here. Now the next topic is OS directory structure. Now a directory is a container that is used to contain folders and files. That means it organizes files and folders into a hierarchical manner. A file system contains thousands and millions of files owned by several users. The directory structure organizes these files by keeping entries of all the related files. The two important features that must be taken care while maintaining a directory are given here. Number one is that a user must have freedom of giving the desired name to the file without taking into consideration that the same file names are used by other users on the system. And the next is a user must be able to share the files he creates and he must also be able to access the files created by other users. There are various types of information which are stored in a directory, for example, name, type, location, size, etc. Thank you everyone for watching my video till the end. Like, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.